So Open RAN has the potential to change many things in a mobile network, one of which, of course, is testing. Now, as we know, testing is critical to making sure disaggregated multi-vendor Open RANs actually work and perform as they should. So I'm here with Eng Y Ku from Keysight Technologies to talk a bit about it. Uh, welcome, Ku. Great to have you with us. Hey, hello, Gabe. It's good to be here joining yourself right with this team. Good stuff. So I think first question is, what does Open RAN really change for your clients and, and how you interact with them? Yeah, so this is a good question. So Open RAN opens up a whole range of possibilities and opportunities for our customers and partners. Right. So Keysight today works with all the key players in the 3GPP RAN and Open RAN ecosystem today. Uh, and I think it's actually important to clarify that Open RAN is intrinsic 3GPP RAN compliant. So starting with the silicon vendors requiring pre-silicon testing for the design before they finalize their chipset design for the ORIUs. And then with the major RAN vendors, you know, differentiating in areas of stability, performance, efficiency, robustness, right, including areas such as energy savings. Uh, with the emerging RAM vendors, very focused on ORAN specifications compliance, mm -hmm. utilizing the conformance interoperability specifications published by ORAN Alliance. Now, understanding that Open RAN has designed a completely open architecture with further dis disaggregation of the 3GPP architecture, we're looking at additional vendors and suppliers of the Open RAN ecosystem, actively exploring interoperability and partnerships opportunities, such as the cloud service providers. Right, transport network X host solution providers, mm -hmm. accelerator solution providers, software reference tech solution providers. So RAN optimization solution providers designing their solutions to fit into the ORAN architecture and needing to be tested, validated, and AI ML algorithms trained for their RAN intelligence functions. And then we're looking at system integrators, test houses, research, and educational institutes, exploring opportunities to extend their current RAN or device test capabilities to open RAN testing. Mm -hmm. uh, with service providers establishing labs and processes to test and evaluate open RAN in their indoors and outdoors lab environments. So RAN vendors and system integrators are exploring delivering managed services to the service providers for both labs and field testing, and as well as operational tasks. And so um, what does open RAN mean for Keysight and, and how you interact with your clients? So prior to the emergence of uh, Open RAN, we are already working with many of our today Open RAN subsystems and component suppliers, such as for testing of the pre-silicon design, cloud accelerator, transport network, you know, radio access network functions, and obviously all the RAN vendors, operators, system integrators, and test houses, and the security testing for all that have been mentioned. So Open RAN has obviously expanded opportunities now with more customers in similar spaces and as well as new emerging spaces such as these new areas of innovation driven by Orient Alliance in terms of further disaggregation and RAN intelligence. So Keysight mm -hmm. has launched our Keysight Open RAN Architect solution in February this year, and we've included all of Keysight's best-in-class RAN testing solutions in Cora for lab and field testing. We've also well listened to our customers and have innovated and developed new ORAN test tools building off our years of experience with radio RAN, cloud transport, and security testing to now include intra ORAN emulators to allow our customers to perform subsystem testing on the individual subsystem in a full wraparound stateful functional and load testing environment. It sounds like a, a big change for uh, Keysight. Um, can you tell us a bit about the role of the open, uh, we hear about these sort of open ecosystem labs, so the open tests and integration centers, the OTIC labs set up by ORAN Alliance, and the TIP community labs. Are you involved in, in any of those projects? Yeah, that's right. So the uh, open test integration center, in short, we call the OTICs, are established in relation to ORAN Alliance. Uh, it's slightly different as compared to the TIP community labs, and those are established by the telecom the Infra project mm -hmm. uh, initiated by Facebook. So with the uh, OTIC, um, we are very much involved for it in terms of the definitions and as well as um, working with our partners and our customers on how to establish the, their OTICs, right? Uh, because the key motivation is really to provide a open RAN technology incubator environment that's collaborative, open, impartial, vendor independent with a qualified physical space and you're looking at hosting services using ORAN 3GPP specifications, 
and OTIC own, right, test cases to perform activities such as subsystem testing, conformance testing, which is applied on a single DUT, and then as well as interoperability testing with a pair of DUTs, system testing on the entire multi-vendor ORAN deployment blueprints, as well as to be able to conduct plug fairs, you know, to, in terms of demonstrations, mm -hmm. industry events, including training. And we're expecting functional performance and security testing to be performed for all this testing setup. And obviously to be able to make sure that we can enable right testing automation for our customers, right? So they can have a truly continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous testing methodology for the OTICs is really critical for its success. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see CI C D and continuous tests come into the into the mobile RAN uh, world. Um, these these um, uh, test programs, the OTIC program and, and others, do they generally cover, like you said, functional uh, and conformance testing, or do they also look at performance testing and field testing? Uh, yeah, so that's a really good question, Troy. So the uh, the OTICs would definitely look at the um, not just functional, but extending beyond functional into performance testing. Uh, that includes Troy testing in the labs, field trials optimization. And because these environments are, are highly complementary as you would expect, right? So in the labs, the OTEX wants to be able to perform very realistic testing. So to be able to add on robust channel emulation capabilities to the radio interface with different kinds of aiding models, channel profiles. And for the transport network, add on like network impairment emulation capabilities to simulate latency, jitter, packet losses, and background loads. And we know that these are required for it basically for the operators and our customers for it to simulate the testing environment that's actually as close right to real world environments as much as possible mm -hmm. but this is never going to replace for it real life field testing that basically would have unexpected dynamic changing conditions they are basically required for operators to be able to look at testing evaluating and optimizing a multi-vendor oran environment mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess for for us as customers and users, field testing is going to have the biggest impact on on how we actually use a service. Um, another thing as well is we hear a bit about various certification schemes. You know how different handsets may be certified to, as as conformant. Do you think we'll see this model come into uh, RAN equipment in, in in the telecom industry? Absolutely. Right. So I think uh, what we're looking at is that the, uh, as part of the OTICs, as we just discussed, the OTICs are basically designed to provide um, certification and badging services to their clients. So there are a few models, right? In terms of certification, what has been looked at is that the OTICs will be able to, you know, have clients coming to the lab, bring in their ORAN test solution, like a single device under test. You know, go through a set of uh, test cases which are basically defined by ORAN Alliance and to be able to award Troy a certificate at the end of the testing for a single device under test. In terms of badging services, you know, this is what ORAN Alliance will be designing uh, to be applied for, for a pair of DUTs device under test and as well as the entire ORAN end-to-end -end solution. When any vendors right, can bring their solutions or as a DUT to participate in the testing, and with a set of criteria right, being passed, they'll be awarded right, the um, badging for IoT and system testing uh, respectively. Yeah, okay. And this is all needed, right? Because then you can actually allow right, operators, for example, to be able to go to the OTICs and say, you know, hey, this is you know, my requirements, right? Do you have a list of um, you know, the O-rank components right, that basically meet my criteria and uh, pass your test, right? And they've actually been awarded certificates and badges right, by mm -hmm. your OTIC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to be an interesting area. Watch. So just to, I guess, to close out the, 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 the interview a little bit, can you tell us a bit about what it's like for you as, you know, you individually, but also for Keysight to, to be working in this more kind of collaborative mode with multiple partners? You know, I guess classically as a, as a test supplier, you're, you're working one-to-one -one with individual vendors or operators. How does this kind of multi-party model change things for you? So in Keysight, uh, we have been working with many of our customers and partners on a daily basis, as you know, in a highly collaborative and trusted models. And um, as I shared earlier, we are already working very closely with many of our partners and customers right prior to the emergence of Open RAN. Uh, what's actually interesting is that we're now seeing them coming together, collaborating because of Open RAN. For example, one of our customers may be providing a chipset that's going to be uh, embedded right, within another customer's right, you know, radio devices. And that radio device is going to be interoperating with another vendors, you know, like ODUs. And the whole ecosystem is basically jowling up together, right? The good news is that 
all our customers, right? Basically, they're using key site test tools. And this is critically important because then they basically have a, um, a state-of-the-art for a test tools that provides a consistent, reliable results for it, for them to be able to excel um, their testing for a, a results just so that they will be able to get you know the certificates and the badges that they mm -hmm. want within the OTICs and accelerate right basically their growth for right, into the ORAN ecosystem. Yeah. Okay. Um, and to top this off, you know, I think what's really important for Keysight is to be able to listen to our customers and continue to collaborate and work with them very closely. They are meeting their requirements, right, to allow them to succeed uh, with this open RAN wave. Thank you. Good stuff. Um, Ng Wai Koo from Keysight Technologies, uh, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you very much.